All right, everybody. We got us a new video reaction style here. I've got some guys I never even heard of. It's called Scared Money Don't Make Money. Apparently, they got a podcast. Podcast must be popular these days. Um, you can catch them, looks like, on just about everywhere. But I've never seen them on YouTube. I don't know them. I've never seen this video. It caught my attention because, you know, hey, they're going to do Mastering the Don't Pass Crap Strategy by Scared Money Don't Make Money. All right. Let's roll it a little bit and see what they got to say here because I'm looking forward to it. I hear a little casino in the background. That's for me. Place your bets, please. Place your bets, please. Place your bets, Hard way. Hang on. Here we go. Let's get ready. Come on, baby. Let's roll those dice once more. Let's roll those dice once more Cash in the markers and make a free line for the door Alright, let's see what they got to say here Let's get them loaded up from the beginning Alright, welcome to another episode of Scare Money Don't Make Money My name is Sam Sonny and today we're hey, going to Sam talk to Sonny. you guys about double craft S strategy. Boards. Right, and there are very different variations of craft strategies, uh, but today I think we're going to focus on don't pass. Yeah, so, you know, last couple of episodes before we did uh, roulette on the app, on the iPad, and it was right. kind of like profitable, but when we went to Vegas and played the real thing, right. it, you ended up losing money, right? Exactly. <laughs> or online. You're damn right. <laughs> so, so today, we're going to do craps, and we have a little craps uh, table set up here. Yeah. And Sonny is a real craps player, and he's been playing craps for like 15 know. plus years. Exactly. And have been okay, mostly cool. profitable. We've got an experienced person for a change. He plays very conservatively, and he he's kind of methodical about this. Yep. And so we're going to go, and for those who don't know what... Um, Craps is, and it is probably the most confusing game right. out of all, all the games out there. Very Vegas, complicated. Right? There's a lot of bets going on, and like you know, we have like at least what two, th uh, three dealers at the same time, right? Managing the money and making sure everything's all correct. And there's a thing called a pass line, right? And a don't pass. All right, so um, they're going to assume everybody doesn't know this. I'm going to try to skip ahead if I can because you know what? I only got so much time in a day and so many reaction videos I can do. But the double S boys here from Scared Money Don't Make Money. Excuse me if I just kind of roll ahead here just a little bit. Go a couple of minutes in. Hit the play. The hotels are humongous. <laughs> Casinos are big. Yeah. And if they're winning, just play with the house. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So today we're going to play on the Don't Pass line. And, uh, you know, I'll show you like a little strategy. It's really basic and, um, you know, so it's really simple. You will, it's not complicated. The payout's a little different than the pass line. So we'll, we'll go ahead and show you that. All okay? right. So for those who don't know, the increments normally in Vegas, and we don't have the chips here, black chips okay. are normally $100. I need to get into the strategy. I'm going to the four-minute mark. Hit play. All First right. roll is the what? Four. 22. Four, right? Okay, they're so using an electronic roller. Place over there on four. So the number is number four, four right? So we, we want to try to avoid a four. Any, any. All right, so. All right. They got a don't pass. I don't know what the blue chip stands for. It could be a bazillion. Blue stands for a bazillion. They got, they got, they got blue on the don't pass. Let's roll. Number four. four. Right. Right. And then with the now I'm going to tell you, if you're going to play the don't pass, four is a good come out number. A on the fours, you could go six times, well, any numbers on the don't pass, so you go six times the odds. Okay. So we're going to go six times the odds on the four. $600. $600, okay? All right, so and that's then a you black $600, chip. we're going to get paid one to two. So that will be $300 here and then $100 here, okay? So total of net of $400. Might be a little bit of a math guy here, but I'm going to tell you what. 
If you're going to go max odds on and don't pass on a four, you need a lot of bankroll. A lot of bankroll. So be careful, folks. Be careful. A lot of profit. But if, we're, we're risking seven hundred. Yeah, we're risking seven hundred dollars to win four hundred dollars if a seven comes out right now. All right, let's go here. All right. <laughs> yes, please don't show the four. <laughs> All right. If we're trying to get a All seven, right. don't show the four. Seven. Okay. We made the money already on the first All right. one. We got us a right, seven. We, go. we got so us a nice here, winner right there. Then go oh, we got here. another guy. Perfect. Yeah. Where'd he come now, from? Now, usually uh, when I... We got Sam. We got Sonny. Maybe his name's Sylvester. I don't know. Probably another S guy. When I win the first roll, I just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> so, but in this, in this uh, session here, we're going to keep going. So now we're uh, four hundred dollars after so the first in, roll. So in this, in your strategy like this, yeah. that's the best case scenario. Right? Oh my goodness, this is the because best case scenario. Because you hit the point. Right? Yeah, it's you magic. Hit seven and you yeah. cap that's out. That's magic. But if you did the pass line, it'd be the opposite, opposite where you we lose the money. Yeah. So yeah. everyone else who was playing with us, playing the pass line, they would have been upset. Okay. So now we're up four hundred dollars. So we're still going to start with the same bet, a hundred dollars. And it don't. So now we need a two, three, to win the bet. Seven, eleven, we lose, and a twelve, we push. Four. Four yeah, again, four right? Again. Another right, four. So gonna He's going to load up. Four, well, He's going to load up. I don't like to risk too much on the four and tens because sometimes it's overrated. Yeah. Now our profit is. You just went $600, dude. You just went $600. They don't like to load up. Let's see what he does. $400. Yeah. So what I normally like to do is, okay, you know what? I'm going to risk my profits right now. Okay. Okay. So, but we only win half. Yeah, so we'll, okay. we'll get $100 here, and then we'll get $150 here. Okay. So a profit of $250. Right. Makes a little sense there. He's only now risking the profit he made off the previous row. I'm going to risk it on $400. Okay, this go. is the conservative way. Nine. Nine, okay. Keep on going. So I don't know why no throwing so hard. Right, Keep okay. going. Because right now we're, I mean, we have Come on, dude. Sonny, Sam, I can't remember who you are. Just throw them to the wall. I mean, you got a four-foot wall. You ain't got to throw them through the wall. Just throw them to the wall. I haven't placed any other bets besides the don't pass. Yeah. We just want to set. But even if you play the don't pass, you yeah. can put money on the point, yes. on the on the number. Which we'll do maybe okay. later on if something does happen. Ten. Ten. Okay. See, the four and ten is overrated, mm. right? Because this thing came out with a loss, we had a turn. That would make me nervous. Okay. But if I played my way, I would have bet uh, the hard way. Yeah. Hard we'll way, we'll, we'll show them me. next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are a lot of strategies and craps. Seven! Oh, no roll. No oh, roll. roll. Let, let's oh, explain man. why. So the, re the reason why there's no the roll. The camera can't see it. You can't see it? No. Okay, can't usually see the, one, the one dice is off the table. It's oh, called a no roll. Y'all ain't got sides on that little table. That table is off the table and it's on the rail. It doesn't count. Well, well, I did hit the seven. Uh, it was a seven, but it would I think that it looks like they're actually playing on a poker table with a little ending thing with maybe a layout sitting on it. I get it. So this is just all pretend. Okay. All right. Six. six. Okay. Four and a deuce, six. All right. So other people are making money off the. Six, yeah, seven, they're five. placing the, the best. They're making money. Eight. Eight. Okay, and they're and still making money. Yeah, and right now we're just waiting. All right, so I'm just going to take a moment and move my move myself out from in front of them because I just realized I'm blocking them. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't mean to block you. In for seven still, so that's like the fifth row. Oh! oh we lost that one. So we lost that. So that's why we need to risk our profit. Okay. And now we're back. See, now I'm just going to say I would have felt like I was on the wrong side of this. It's just an intuition thing. I'm not saying I'd have took my best down, but I would have been really, really worried. I probably would have, I might have took my odds down and left my flat because when that 10 rolled, that's the sister number to the four. Call me superstitious, whatever you are, but we're getting five or six rolls. We've got our other dealer in here. Um, I'd have been getting a little nervous. I, I have a tendency to pull my, my lay odds down or my don't odds down when you start getting over five or six rolls and I start seeing sister numbers to what I'm on heavy starting to hit. Superstition, whatever. 
to be even, right? Right. So we start all over again. So now we're one and one. One and one. one and the one. odds of hitting the four and tens are like less, but sometimes, you know, like Danny and I, we've seen it hit four and You done hit them three times, dude. Or at least twice. Yeah, you've hit them three times since I've been watching. And I skipped ahead. We're only seven minutes in. Tens like ten times in a row. Right, but yeah. those who bet on the pass sign and hit the four, they win like triple the, the money. The double, double the money, money. yes. Double if they place the hundred dollars here, they, they get two hundred dollars, yes. And whatever they lay, they yeah. also make. So overall, after two rows, you would have made more money off the pass, pass line, line because you're getting paid right. double the odds. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. Reset. Reset. Eight. The eight. Usually the eight. I'm scared. So six and the eights are the most um, common. The most common, along with the seven, seven. right? So I do get a little scared when I play the don't pass and when I, when I see the eight. But so you what also I'll, get paid more money. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. this one, I'm going to take it easy. Instead of max betting $600, I'm going to just go ahead and bet um, $300, half. Now he's right. Now I've seen a lot of people, don't they don't flinch because it's a bigger payout. It is a bigger payout. But, you know, uh, I'm probably going to go with um, – if it were me, I'd probably place the six and eight for ninety dollars. Ninety dollars each. If I had a hundred dollar pass line, let's see how that would work. All right. All right. So so far, right now, we're even money. After even two. money after two yeah. rows. Yeah. After two. Uh, yeah. After two rows. And those who remember comps and hotels, basically, uh, we're getting. Uh, we're only actually averaging one hundred dollars. Just one hundred dollars. The lanes don't count. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, deuce. Right, ace is a deuce. Okay. Okay. But no, no harm. Yeah, I wish we had that before, though. <laughs> I know. We would have won. Five. five. Okay. Ace, five. Okay. Second ace row. Four. Keep going. That's the second row. Ten. Ten. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Third row. A lot of ten. So usually uh, I tend to get scared after, you know, probably around the fifth or sixth row. Because usually, you I know, said that. Very you're you're good it, guy. Yeah. I feel I like, like that. The, you know, the dice is getting hot. Versus, like, people think the probability is that seven would come out, you know, after, like, more rows, right? But me, I, I kind of think the opposite. All right, so yeah. do you want to lay off? No, no, no. I, I keep on going until part of the seventh row. Five. Right. Okay, that's probably what. I might have hit all the features. <laughs> <laughs> well, features, we'll talk about that later, too. Five, five again. Well, that's yeah, like the third time you hit five. 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 So yeah. right now, I feel like, okay, dice is getting hot. So yeah. I think maybe after one or two more rows, I'm going to have to reduce my bet. Go. Go with the intuition there. Oh, oh he good won. Thing, good thing I didn't reduce my bet. He won. So I, get paid I done lost my here. 90 on that six. For and then sure. I get paid 250 here. 90 on the eight. So I lost. this is the inverse of the pass getting paid, right? So this pays less because we're on the opposite side. Nice. Okay? All right. So, so now, now we're, we're up three, uh, 350. Oh, 350. Yeah. Okay. We're up 350. 350 after three. Three. Uh, it's not bad. Rolls. So we're going to start. Bankroll. You got to have enough bankroll to stand it because you're going to get hurt every once in a while on this. Well, just, like, again, just like any other street. Don't pass still. So $100 don't pass? Out of three, after, after three rolls, we're two don't pass and one pass. And we okay. want 250. Yeah, so, yeah. 10 again. Ooh. Okay, 10. So 10, I feel like, you know what? The odds are not going to hit. It's a 10? <laughs> yeah. You know, I've been hitting a lot of 10s. Yeah. They going to lay some money on that bad boy. So right now, I'm feeling feeling like you won't <laughs> hit it. So I'm going to go $600, even though I shouldn't have, but. All right. Yeah. Let's go. Because I feel like well, right you know now. what happens, man. Yeah. Whatever we Place a like, 10 over there, Danny. Like. Like. All right. Here we go. Eight. Eight. Whoa. Okay. As long as there's no. See, we dodged the eight. show three, yeah. it's fine. Oh, you yeah. Know when you show a three or two or one yeah. on the first yeah. dice, we're well, not going to lose. Nice. Yeah. 12. 12. Okay. But that's a really hard number to get. So that'll be the second roll. Oh! So now we're up. Now Got we're it. up. So now we get paid $100 here and then $300, half of $600. Okay? So we want four there. 400, four there. We profited. Nice lit. Okay. 650 now. Hold on. Let's see. Yep. We're up six. No, we're 750 oh, actually. 750, yeah. baby. All right. So 750 after four rolls. Four rolls. So we got three don't pass and one pass. So we're up right now. Okay? Yeah. So now I'm feeling it, right? So let's go on. Um, let's go. Keep He's going. feeling it. You're All feeling right. It, but you're only putting 100. <laughs> Here we go. 10 again. Oh. So 
So here's my thing with Danny. So when, when I tell him, hey, you know what? Once we get past the 10 and we crap out and the next roll comes a 10, I feel... There's no such thing as crap out. A crap is a 2, a 3, or a 12. Neither one of those take you out. Only the 7 takes you out. It's a 7 out. Really good because we just passed the 10. And that's a very common misnomer. Oh, did you just crap out? Yeah, I crapped out. No, you didn't crap out. You sevened out. Yeah. And it passed, you know, we got a seven before, before a ten, right. right? But now ten showed up again, which is a good sign for us. Like, right. hey, you know what? This is probably a good sign. So what do I do? We'll go max odds again on six times it. This is all profit. Six right? on it. All profit. Still our profit, right? Yeah. All we profit. We're still yeah, we're still, almost. yeah, we're fifty dollars up. Which I don't mind, but I, I want to try to break the bank right here. Six. This is where you kind of break the bank right here. It's like a double down on black. Break yeah, one bank much, or the yeah. other. Let's go. Okay, six, six. six. Okay, I got right. that was good. Two, six. <laughs> here we go. That's the second row. A little one hit can't miss, but a bit Oh, nice. we couldn't lose on a three. three. That's exactly. I saw the three first. Yep. I didn't care. That's our fourth. Eight. Okay, Nine. so uh, I still keep track of how many rolls we've, yeah. we've gone through. Ninety dollars, you know, six, and eight, be you know, popping four, good, four right? Five. Oh, got baby, out. let's go. Five, baby. Let's go. Pay out one and three. There you go. It's a good See, lick. Normally you don't high five when you win on don't pass, but since it's just me and Sam, <laughs> we're high five. He's right. Each other. Like, He's right. Don't players. You don't really high five and yell and scream yay and all that stuff like everybody else does. You just most don't players. And I agree. You just kind of need to keep a little bit of a low profile out there. Don't don't bring excess attention to you because somebody might be getting angry at you because they're losing money and you're winning money because they feel like it's not really the case, but they feel like you're betting against them. Danny and I will like, you know, do a body chest pump, you know? Or sometimes people get real pissed yeah. off. and like, what are you happy about? We're right. all lost. So after five rows, Sam, we, we are up 11.50, okay? $1, nice lick. Hey, that's dollars. pretty good. I, Very nice easy, right? easy, easy, It looks easy. Easy strategy, right? It looks yeah, easy, but hey, you know what? We, we, we've got, what, four don't pass and one pass, right? Right. So we're profiting right now. All right. So you, by the way, you're doing a great job, thank Sam. You, Throwing you. the dice, you know? It. So keep that up as long as you do like this, you can play with me one day. He's about to <laughs> knock him through the <laughs> wall when he's throwing him. Once you deviate, then you can't play with me. All right, here we go. Last time we played together, yeah, no. I think I lost 10000 yeah. <laughs> It's okay. We'll get it back. All right, All right this is our, what, six, six, six roll probably? Yeah. Okay. All right. Four and one. Four and one. All right, let's go. All right, let's go, baby. Five. five. All right. The only reason I'm scared of five because you've been hitting fives a lot. Right. Okay. And we're profitable still, but you know what? We're going to take it easy on this one, okay? And so let's go. since we're profitable, yeah. would you put some numbers on? Because I, for the last few times, I were I was hitting those numbers. I would, but right now, since like you know the you dice is pretty away, cold, yeah. I want to try to maximize right. my uh, my profits right now. Because once I place numbers, yeah. And you know, if yeah. I don't hit in those numbers, I'm gonna I'm gonna lose away. I'm gonna lose out on okay. a couple of hundred dollars. Okay. All right. Oh, I like this. The, like it. No, the dealer like it. knows what to do. Six. Six. Okay. No harm, no foul. All right, all right. Let's go. As long as uh, five doesn't come out, and it's, we're good. Any other number's fine. Second row. Ten. Oh, when, uh, when you see a six, yeah. we're not going to lose. No. All right, six over five. Second row. Oh, oh okay. And that's the reason why I, yeah, I didn't yeah, maximize yeah. on the bet. Okay, that was good intuition. That was good intuition. So, what I like to see is like I'm, when I'm observing the table, I, I kind of see how many times it's hitting the certain number. Right. And yeah, as you, if you notice, we hit a five a lot of times, right? Right, right. Okay, so that's why I kind of reduced the bets a little bit. Hey, but you know what? We're still up 750. That's still okay? good. After six rolls. Six, so, uh, yep. six rolls. So let's continue. Go to the cage. All right, let's go, baby. All right, so, so this is our seventh roll. Three. Oh, here we go, baby. Another winner, one, winner on, on the, the, pa on the don't okay. pass line now, right what there. what I like to do is when, when I win that bet, I like to press. I do not. Sign. Yeah, it's a good sign. Do it three again, baby. Five. Five, oh, five again. Five, five, hot number. There's been no so come out seven. Because <laughs> <laughs> I've been hitting a lot of fives. 
But you know what? Hey, we're here to gamble. All right. Yeah, you're gambling. Uh, you know, he won on the three. There's been no come out sevens in this hand or elevens. A little bit, you know, he's, he's probably going to be due for some, but it may not show. But for seven rolls, he loses 100. For 11 rolls, he loses 100. So keep that in mind, folks. All right, so we're going to gamble. I'm just going to lay $300, okay? So we win. So we're risking $500. I'm going to tell you what I'd do right now. <laughs> this is what I would do. Woo! I'd lay it for 450 To win $400. Okay. Right. Sounds good. All right. I'll make you proud here. All right, let's go. I'll just give me, give me, I just want a 6 1, baby. All right, 6, six one. 1. Nine. All right, nine. Good, good. Keep going. Close. Yep. That's our first first roll. Ten. Ten. Keep it high. I like that. Yep. Keep it high. Can't be sixes. Yep. Second row. Ten. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, a lot of ten. Maybe we'll avoid the tens later. <laughs> That'd be hurting you on a DC right, player. If you were if you were falling out with a DC like I do, you might be getting hurt. Oh. You got there the you seven. Four hundred bucks. So we, uh, we so we, when we lost four hundred dollars, we just got it right back right yeah. now. Okay. So we're back to eleven fifty. Yeah. So. Good job, sir. All, All right. right. See where we're at exactly. Yep. Actually, we're at. All right. So he's won over fifty percent of his bankroll on these rolls, starting at two thousand. He's up twelve fifty. He's gonna count it and make sure where he's at. But I, I bet you, being a don't player, he's gonna play again. Cause it's working. Twelve fifty. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, we won the dollar. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, actually, we won the press. Yeah, yeah. You pressed, yeah. but you gave me two, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So now we're up. Yeah, twelve fifty after seven seven spins, right? Seven. Yeah. yeah. Seven seven throws. All right. So let's keep this up. Since we're hot, we're gonna go with two hundred dollars still. Okay. Sounds good. Two hundred right. on the All DP. Right. All right. If a certain number comes out, I'm gonna press one really and hard. Two, okay. Oh. Four. four. I was I was hoping for a four, five, I really nine. Get six today. I know. Much. Which is this which is. is kind of rare. You know, I still want to avoid that. Okay. So right now, so in my mind, I was hoping, hey, throw four, five, nine, or ten, so I could pretty much max this bet. Not ten. I've been hitting a lot of tens. Tens, yeah, I'll be iffy. But right now, since we're uh, let's see, our max bet would go six times two hundred dollars, right? Yeah, so we could go max bet uh, twelve hundred dollars. Let's see if I have enough. All right, so I got. Sure you do. All your profit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to risk everything. Thousand fifty our profit. Thousand fifty, and we get right, half of that. Going okay. For the profit. So you get five, uh, five, you win, five twenty-five here, and then two hundred, so seven, seven twenty-five. Five, seven twenty-five. Yeah. Okay. All right. He's risking it all, profit. Still got his starting bankroll is intact. So take a lesson from that. You always need to know where you're at. This is not bad teaching. They're getting the roles they need for this video, though. But, I mean, it's not bad teaching. I mean, you really need, you know, he's not digging into, at this point, his original buy-in, which I, I like. Okay. So we get to 19, yep. 1900 yep. Just going to $100 to $300. Exactly. Round, right? It's easy. Okay. All right, let's go. Let's get a seven right here. Get it out of the way. Oh! oh I close. like the four because when you see a four, you can't okay, lose, please. right? Can't lose. There you go. And this is all our profits. I'm not sweating this, you know, so if we... we Loses, we lose. Oh, ten, see? Hard yeah. way to Oh, that make me right? nervous. Hard way ten, baby. Yeah. That's why Sam and I can't play together. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hard way tens would pay me a lot of money. Let's go. Oh, oh all right. I thought I had that. Third row. Oh, now we got an audience here. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh! Seven, he won it. Baby. After eight rows, we pretty much doubled up we when we started, right? Exactly. And now this is where you kind of walk away. Oh, now. this is when we walk away? Yeah. We walk away and call it a day. Or actually, Good job. Here's what I'll do sometimes. Right. What is the blue? Purple. Okay, purple. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no more blacks? Okay. Oh, purple is $500. 525 Okay, perfect. All right, thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. So we're up like how much? Let's count. Uh, let's let's count how we got five. That's five, right? Yeah. 15, 19, 20. 1975. Basically 100% of your buy-in right there. 1975. That don't happen all the time, but they just did it. From eight rolls, right? That's 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now, Sam, now we're up, doing really good. I, I kind of like to walk away. 
But what I'll do sometimes, you know what? I just want to play this one more bet. One more time. That's a craps player right there, dude. I just want to do one more bet. I bet he wins. One more, oh, one more time, left. baby. Winner. This is so our famous winner lose. If we do lose, I walk oh, away. Okay. If we win, I double up. All right. Keep good. going. Let's go, baby. Let's go. All right, let's get an ace deuce. Ten, see? Uh, Hard way tens again. I'm going to avoid the oh, ten. Oh, man, I would have won. I would have won like usually I'll, I'll Usually I'll lay an, uh, like six times the odds, whatever oh, it yeah, is, right? It. But I'm just going to lead and try to win the, uh, the, the, the come out roll. Okay? All right. Do let's you get a seven. Seven? Yeah. Okay, right away. Right, let's get a seven right away. Four. four. Okay, which is happening? Ten comes forward, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right. usually, nines yeah, and ten, fives, nines and, and fives, and six and eight. And eight and six, yep, right? exactly. All right, here we go. Eight. eight. Okay. Not bad. I just want a six and a one. Six on, and a one, or ace, deuce, or a three. Eleven. Oh, okay. Dang. I've been at eleven all day. That was the first eleven. Yeah, you're right. This is right. the first eleven. Nothing on the come out. He's not lost to come out all this row. Oh, aces. Dang, 11, well, if you had the field bet, you would have had the 11, ace, deuce, yeah. aces. 12. 12s. You got the, all right, keep going. That's our fourth row. Eight. eight. Oh, he hit that. ace twice. Okay. Five rows, starting okay, to get 12. a little nervous. 12. Oh, oh wow. All right, this is our sixth row now coming up. See, if it was me, I would be throwing $100 on field, yep. $100 on the hard ways. Yeah, yeah, you'd be losing Sam your ass. Five. five. Wow. There Sam, goes the field bet. Five. You hit the four, five, five six, eight. Dude, we would have wow. really hit the features. You know, all you need is a nine, I think. There's a nine, baby. I hit the you would hit it. You would hit all the we features. Oh, my goodness. A hundred dollar bet would have been, would have been like, like twenty, twenty-three thousand. Twenty-two thousand dollars. Wow. Oh, on the features. <laughs> all right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, the feature bet. You guys are high up. See, now, now you know why we did that, right? Now you because walk away. we did see a lot of 10s. Yes. And we say, you've been hitting a lot of 10s. So I figured, you know what? We're just going to risk $150. I could have laid more and lost more, but you know what? Are we walking away? No, we walk away. Well, you remember we were talking about how we don't like walking <laughs> away after a loss? But that was a small loss, and I'm willing to walk away with $1,800 and $25 right. of a 2000 investment. That's a nine rolls. That's such an odd number. <laughs> Time to walk, buddy. <laughs> but here's what Best I mean, advice you're going to hear like in a long time. Then you, know, oh. you walk away okay. 16. Okay. All right, good job. Man. You walk away right so there. So that's our, our strategy. strategy. It's a simple don't pass. Uh, Very method. simple. All right. So for those that y'all don't know these guys, because I don't know these guys, just absolutely found them by accident goofing around on YouTube. Scared money don't make money. Obviously, everybody's got a podcast these days, casinotears.com. Small, shameless plug. Mastering the don't pass crap strategy. The one thing he never happened, no come out sevens, no come out yo's. That's a, I mean, it happens. You just saw it, but it's rare. You're going to get hurt on those on occasion. I would have been curious to see how he would have played it had he had a couple of come out sevens or something hit him. I'd like to have seen a video that had that. He may have another. I may dig around and look. But we'll go on to somebody else next time, y'all. Thank you for watching. Let's let them finish Simple, us yes. out here. That didn't, that didn't get into any other uh, bets in craps because right. mm -hmm. there are so many different ways to bet in craps. Right. So in other episodes, because craps is such a complicated game, we'll do the same thing using different strategies and see how we do. But on the normal way that Sonny plays, which is the don't pass like yep. this, we're up double our money. Exactly. And, you know, like... It, it, sometimes it goes, run, yeah, right. it's a quick hit and run and sometimes it goes based on feel and what you see and what, what numbers come out right, right. and then you kind of have to control your money management in anything right, right? yeah you, either you bet big or you bet small and, and you, you go back and forth I when like you it. hit when you bet big you got to hit those yeah and when you don't then you get a little crushed i remember because yeah. I, I start sweating like, <laughs> when we get to $10, <laughs> yeah. like, guys, seven come out please yeah, exactly so hey you know what all right good job very profitable good job good, good job. job good job all right thanks guys all right, thanks All right. All right. Welcome to another episode of Scare Money. Cut that. Me. Uh, I went backwards. All right. Appreciate them. Appreciate your video. You know what? He played it pretty darn smart. You got to admit, he played that pretty darn smart. Again, I still like to would have seen how he would have played those come out sevens or yos had they occurred in those roles. None occurred. So let's get on out of here, folks. <laughs> 
jump into the tea, bird, heat up some rubber fast. Heat up that rubber fast on that tea bird. Folks. Jump into the tea. Practice like you play, play like you practice. Go roll to win. <laughs>